Hey, Rays of Sunshine, it's Evelina of Evergreen Art Dolls, and in front of me, you can see two new dolls that I have to open. And you guys, I know I said for the new year that I would be slowing down on my dolly spending, but what happened was I had this girl in my, um, like the, on Amazon, there's like the save for later option. I had her in my cart initially a while ago after my unboxing for my Laura Vaughn, not a not surprise teen slumber party doll, which is on my channel as well. So check out that unboxing if you're interested I'll link the video in the description but yeah I opened my Laura Vaughn doll up and then my friend Cynthia over at Ambrosia's dollhouse here on YouTube as well by the way check out her channel it's awesome um she did an unboxing of this Leela Lamb doll and really made me want to get one so <laughs> I um had this girl in my cart but then i kind of was just you know should i should i not get her because she was around like 30 dollars i think um yeah she was like 30 35 dollars or something uh retail price on amazon and my slumber party one my lara vaughn was about the same price but she came with a lot more like things so i thought she was worth the price more so but um leela lamb i was just like man should i really like you know hit the buy button on her because it seems a little bit like much so I put her in my um, save for later list and then I was on Amazon buying some silicone for my doll making and I saw you guys that she went down to only $15 so this doll is $15 now on Amazon um, I don't know if it still is when I'm uploading this video but she she was really a steal so I just went ahead and put her back into my car and I'm so glad I waited um and that's what I try to do a lot of the times with these kind of dolls is I kind of wait around um or when I'm buying doll accessories and things like from some of my bargain stores I try to wait and see if um certain things would go on sale especially like during the holidays and stuff so luckily this girl was meant to come home with me because she was only $15 a super good sale so I had to hop on that so since I saved so much money I didn't feel bad about getting this cutie right here as well so I did not know about these dolls I think they're like some special edition for for Valentine's Day it's still February but after Valentine's Day and I saw these little cuties they're called sweetest um, sweetest heart so the sweetest heart edition for not a not surprise and I just saw her like as a recommended thing when I got this one so I was like oh my goodness these are adorable and I have two other not a surprise like these mini ones or I think they're like eight inches or so and I have like the other one that I have is the bear one um, I can't think of her name right now for some reason but she's the lighter skinned one and then I have like the mini version it seems like the mini versions of, of this one they have different names but she has like the dark chocolate skin so I have her as well and I had a little bit of space on the shelf that they're on so I decided to get her and she's like kind of in the middle but like since I saved so much money with this one I'll go ahead and get this one as well and I think she was also like around $15 or so so basically I got two for one so I thought that was a deal and a steal. So I went ahead and got both of these girls, but let's go ahead and open them up and check them out. And you guys, before I go ahead and open her all the way up, just wanted to show y'all the back. Uh, I hate that this sticker is on top because I would have loved to cut this little, um, this little illustration out because that is so, so cute. She is adorable, but it says bow down to the sweetness on the back and um and yeah i really want to cut this out but the sticker is on top let's see if it'll come off smoothly enough for me to cut her out but isn't she cute so so super cute so let's go ahead and get into her all right you guys so i finally got her out i love these dolls but i absolutely hate the packaging look what it did to me so now i am bleeding <laughs> Oh, 
And I have another scar to add to this one. And this is from work, working with animals. I can understand that. But trying to open a doll and getting a cut like this is just, it's just ridiculous. These are so hard to get. These are such hard dolls to get opened. I pressed the tab like it told me to to make it easier to open and it was it was still so hard to get out like they put so many little ties and the packaging is just so hard and I just feel like unnecessary and wasteful so if anything um yeah, I'm a little bitter right now, you guys, but MGA, if y'all ever watch this, um, maybe consider that like using less plastic. It just shouldn't be that hard to open um, or just make it easier to open because yeah, like I said, it took forever to open and I hurt myself. So, and I'm an adult. So for children, you know, that is probably even harder. But anyways, that's enough of me complaining. Um, I'm just tired of getting cuts, you guys. <laughs> but anyways, so here she is. She is super, super adorable. She is so, so cute. Like her shoes. At first, I thought they were like white and um, blue, but it's actually like a like a pearlescent, super, super light pink on her heels. And she has the printed on socks. They're just super, super cute. And the reason I love these Not A Not Surprise dolls is because I'm a huge fan of cloth dolls. And um, so that's why I just really like these because I just really love cloth dolls. She has a little bit of movement in her legs. So you can pose her legs a little bit, little bendy like material under there. I love her skirt. I will probably switch this out too. I think Cynthia also said that she didn't care too much for this little... I don't even know what you call this, but yeah, I'm gonna remove this blue thing and just have her in the white um, soft little shirt. And then she has printed on jewelry and her face is super cute. And the hair is super, super soft. And I'm gonna try to keep it in this style, but I love the really soft candy pink. And there's the back of her. And I think, yeah, they have um, printed underwear. Super cute. <laughs> Little pink with polka dots. But yep, yeah, there she is. Looking all fabulous. Oh, and she, she came with um, this lamb hat that I guess I should go ahead and put on her. But let's read the inside first. Let's sit her right there because I don't want to mess up her hair. And this is series two. All right, so Leela Lamb, birthday October 16th. So she's an October baby like me. And it says, bow down to sweetness. All right, and then there's the cute little lamb hat. I really, really All like right, it. And I went ahead and put the little hat on her and it is super cute, especially for Easter coming up. I might do a little uh, cute little photo shoot with her. And you guys stay tuned to the end of the videos because I'll insert pictures. I didn't bring my Laura Vaughn um, out here with me today, but I wanted to, you know, take pictures of both of them together so you guys can kind of compare the two um, and see them together. But yeah, super cute. All right, so there she is, and she also came with this cute little lamb, pearlescent blue lamb comb, and yep, so there she is. So now let's open up this one. I'm going to be more careful this time. <laughs> Y'all see all these little ties? Completely unnecessary. <sighs> but let me go ahead and cut all of these off. All right, so she is now free, and I did not realize that she had, I was just so caught up in opening her up that I tore this, oh, and I hate it because that was a really cute little illustration as well, but oh well, it's too late now. I'm just trying to get the packaging open, and um, but I just want to show y'all the back of it. So it's sweet as hearts, hugs and kisses for you. Equal parts, sweet and snuggly, the sweetest hearts are your perfect match. Soft, fashionable, and oh so very cute. Each heart is full of love you can feel. That's really cute. 
again, I'm bitter about this because I really wanted this little um, illustration of her. But And these are the other ones that come in the edition. And you guys, I failed to mention that I actually got this one for somebody sweet. And yeah, I just thought it was a super cute one. They're all really, really cute. And ta-da, here she is just adorable i just love this little outfit and i hate the taste of conversation hearts but i love how cute they are in the pastel colors and everything and i really like valentine's day and she is just cute and like i said she's also like a medium skin tone so i have um two other of these size not a not surprise dolls i have the lighter skin one that has like the bear themed and then i have the um darker kind of dark chocolate skin tone um with the pink so i just wanted to get this one because she's sort of in between and like i said i had some extra little space on my shelf for one more so yeah there she is i love the hair i love the pink and lavender um well it's not actually is it pink it's kind of pink or no it's more like a lighter and a darker kind of lavender it's really really nice and all of their hair is always really really soft and the outfit is just so cute i love the sparklies on her eyes she is just adorable check out the little shoes with little sparkles on them and again the printed on socks and let's read check out her tag And you guys, the other reason I wanted this one in particular was because her name is Eva or Eva Evermore. And um, my nickname is Evelina. So I was like, that is just perfect. It meant to be. So and my, you know, my business name is Evergreen Art Doll. So I was like, you know, Evermore, Eva Evermore. I thought that was just perfect. <laughs> um, so yeah, I definitely uh, felt the urge, the calling to get her. But her birthday is Valentine's Day 2022. Hugs and kisses for you. And yep, and like I said, this Sweetest Hearts edition. So I am super glad that I was able to find her. I never heard of these, never saw them in stores. But like I said, I was just on Amazon, not even doll shopping. But when I saw her go on sale for that still of a price and then just saw her afterwards, I just couldn't resist. And I'm so glad that I got them both. They are super cute. But you guys, let me know in the comments what you think of them. Oh, and also this one came with this cute little brush as well. And it says um, XOXO, hugs and kisses on it. So that's cute, but I'm definitely not using that on her hair because I really love her braids. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these two in the comments. And again, stay tuned to the end of the video for pictures of all of these cuties together. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, love, and blessings. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.